Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we will discuss how to determine the resistance of a bolted connection. Let's take an example. Here we have a bolted connection between a 70 mm by 10 mm flat mild steel bar and 8 mm thick steel plate. We will use two 22 mm diameter grade 4.6 ordinary bolts in 24 mm diameter holes and characteristic yield strength is 275 megapascals. So, determine the design resistance taking into account. First, tensile failure of the flat bar. Then, shear failure of the bolts. Then, bearing failure around the bolts. To achieve this, we need to use the following equations. First equation is gross area which is equal or greater than design tensile force, multiplied by partial safety factor, which is 1 divided by characteristic yield strength. Second equation is net area of section, which is equal or greater than design strength, multiplied by a different partial safety factor, divided by 0.9, divided by ultimate tensile strength. For regular S275, Ultimate tensile strength equals 410 megapascals and partial safety factor equals 1.1. Third equation is shear capacity, which equals 0.6 times ultimate strength of bolt multiplied by the area of the bolt divided by partial safety factor 1.25. Finally, bearing capacity equation, which equals ultimate strength of bolt times nominal bolt diameter, times plate thickness, divided by partial safety factor. Note in the last two equations, ultimate tensile strength is the minimum of the ultimate strength of either the bolt, or the plate. S275 steel has an ultimate strength of 410 newton per square millimeters. So for grade 4.6 bolts, the ultimate strength of 400 newton per square millimeter limits. So now, based on gross area of tie equation the design tensile force would be gross area 70 millimeters times 10 millimeters times characteristic yield strength 275 newton per square millimeters divided by 1000 to get our force with kilonewton. This gives us a value of 192.5 kilonewtons. Next, based on net area of tie equation, design force would be net area, which is 70 millimeters minus diameter holes 24 millimeters multiplied by 10 millimeters multiplied by 0.9 multiplied by 410 newton square millimeters divided by 1.1 divided by 1000. This results in a value of 154.3 kilonewtons. Following on, based on shear capacity equation, shear capacity equals 2 times 0.6 times the ultimate strength of 400 newton per square millimeters times the area of the bolt, which is pi 22 squared divided by 4 divided by partial safety factor 1.25 divided by 1000. This gives us a value of 146 kilonewtons. Finally, based on bearing capacity equation, which equals 2 times the ultimate strength of 400 newton per square millimeters times bolts diameter times 10 millimeters divided by partial safety factor 1.25 divided by 1000. This results in a value of 140.8 kilonewtons. Therefore, the design resistance is 140.8 kilonewtons which is bearing failure. Thanks for watching. We hope you found some useful tips. Check out our website at structuralengineercalcs.com. Please like and subscribe, and let us know what would you like to see next. The human footprint is a masterpiece of engineering and a work of art. Stay safe. Goodbye, and see you soon.